Okay, in our calculation uh, for Black Scholes, we have uh, the exponential function occurring twice, so e negative qt and e negative rt. And um, it's probably of interest to note how the continuous interest rate or continuous discount factor or continuous dividend yield relates to just discrete compounding. Um, in the previous worksheet, we made that relationship clear uh, or a little bit more explicit. We considered uh, a sum of money, so present value, compounded forward at a rate of R for a time period of T. And the future value simply was just PD multiplied by the 1 plus R to the power of T. So when we inputted that into uh, the spreadsheet, we take $100 or 100 euros, 1 plus the rate of interest to the power of 1 year, and at the end of 1 year we have 110. If we implemented semi-annual compounding where we increase the frequency from 1 to 2 times a year, we just change the formula slightly and we introduced M. And again, the formula pretty much is the same as before, except E8 is 2. And we're dividing the rate by 2, but multiplying the time period by 2. If we increase the frequency from 2 to a very significant number, the value, the future value rises. But this is also, in a sense, uh, creating a compounding factor which is almost continuous. In Excel, uh, we can perform a continuous uh, compounding by using the exponential factor. And the exponential factor is EXP. So if we took the original present value of 100, multiplied by the exponential function to the power of the rate of interest by the time period of one year, the value is 110.51, which corresponds closely to the value we calculated before using a discrete formula, but where the frequency was very high.